Hello everybody, welcome back to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host T. Um, today's video is gonna be me discussing Beyonce's projects, okay? We're gonna get into her discography, but before I dive in, please um, go to the description, check out the website, follow me on socials, like, share, subscribe, and then, you know, at any point, let's talk in the comments because halfway through, I might piss you off. I might piss you off in the beginning. I might do it at the end or I might not piss you off at all. You might love this whole video and you might agree with my opinion through and through. So let's just get right into it. Let's talk about her debut album, Dangerously in Love. I thought it was a great project overall. It's a project that I still listen to. I think the music on Dangerously in Love is still very timeless. It's a more timeless body of work than I Am Sasha Fierce, in my opinion. Um, let me go through Dangerously in Love and tell y'all projects that I particularly enjoy. So, our songs that I enjoy. Of course, Crazy in Love, we love it. But for me, it's a little too mainstreamy. I'm not really a big fan of songs like that typically blow up on the radio. I don't know. So Crazy and Love's a hit, but I don't know. I've heard it so many times. I'm kind of tired of it. Kind of like Hotline Bling. I've just, I've heard it too much that I'm sick of it. Um, but I really enjoyed Hip Hop Star. Again, a song that is lesser known. Be With You. Amazing song. Me, Myself, and I. Fucking classic hit for all women. The song Yes was good. Um... Speechless is a nice, like, slow, you know, sensual jam. Um, it's kind of giving Beyonce in her Luther Vandross bag. And then she does get actual Luther Vandross on this album with The Closer I Get To You. But I really don't know that song like that. Um, I really didn't like That's How You Like It with Jay-Z. It was kind of whack. Um... I didn't like daddy neither. That was kind of weird. I was like, that's a little bit weird. Um, it went, and it's, you know how it went from daddy to daddy lessons, chow. You know, Matthew, what the fuck? So, you know, baby boy was all right. Signs, oh, I like signs with Missy. Signs was cool. I like Beyonce kind of talking about astrology. I was like, that's cool. So, um, I think it was a, there are some good songs on the album. Do I like every single one? No, but um, overall, I think it's a good project. I think it's a great debut for an R&B artist. But something that I didn't know that I know now is that it's full of samples. And I don't really want to try to like say that, oh, because it's full of samples. It's, I mean, it's full of samples, but it's still a good album. Okay, like I'm not going to say that. The vocals are pretty good. Uh, I think, of course, I think we all know Beyonce is like way stronger vocally um, now, but her vocals still did what they needed to do. Okay, let's get on B-Day. A lot of this, I <laughs> wasn't feeling. You know, she's got a diss too in Spanish, cute. Um, let's see. Beautiful Liar, it's okay. It's a nice little radio hit. Irreplaceable, it's a good hit. Green Light. I liked Green Light. Um, Kitty Cat, my song. Kitty Cat is like hands down one of my favorite Beyonce songs. Kitty Cat and Bow Down are like so just, I just fucking love them. Like, I really like those songs from her. Kitty Cat was good. What made Kitty Cat good was she finally got on like a slow down Houston beat and was just like, you know, doing her thing. I think Beyonce sounds good. Her and Megan sound good on like a slower chopped and screwed beat. So I really like when she was, you know, with the iconic bars, okay? Diamonds on my neck, got diamonds on my records. Like that is iconic. She should have on y'all with Kitty Cat. Beyonce dog walks y'all hoes. Kitty Cat is my motherfucking song. But a lot of this other mess I'm not here for. I'm so sorry. Like, Freaking Dress was okay. I know y'all probably love that song, but some of this stuff, I don't like some of the instrumentation. Like, this is what I be talking about when I talk about originality. I think in the last video I did about Beyonce, I think I kind of dragged her too much for saying the music isn't good. I just think the music is okay. 
I think it's just not original. Here's the tea. If Beyonce was writing her music, she wouldn't be so ambiguous about how much she's writing and what the fuck she's writing. Number one, she would have never got exposed for taking or trying to claim Neo's song as her own. Number two, I just wish we got more original composition from her, okay? Because, like, a lot of her music, like, is still good just because it samples, like, already, again, classic music. But it'd just be great to hear her and some producers come up with something original. Just me. Because it's like, uh, it's, it's like, to be honest, you're just mixing down, again, already made classics, putting decent vocals on top, and okay lyrics. And, you know, it's like, it's a bunch of okay shit on already, like, good shit, so it's able to, like, slide by as, you know, great shit. And it's like, is 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 well put together stuff but I'm you know that's just me y'all it's well put together but is it again is it original no um are the lyrics really that deep and great yeah if they're somebody else's um let's see what else is on here I just praised kitty cat welcome to Hollywood really didn't like upgrade you good song but if you don't catch that line you take me just to compliment the deal. That's the type of subliminal fucking programming I be telling y'all about with Beyonce's music, okay? This video is no more ambiguity about what I'm talking about. In this video, if the beehive attacks me, whatever. What else is going on? Upgrade You was a good song. Her and, Beyonce, her and Jay-Z did a good thing. It's great instrumentation. It's great production. You can hear, though, let me find who sampled this. You can hear a sample from somewhere else. Keep it. Betty Wright. <laughs> Girls can do what the guys can do. See what I'm saying? And Betty Wright makes fucking nothing but classic hits. So just saying. I think, and that's, that's why I agree with Prince with him talking about the music industry, nothing, nothing but samples. That's the issue I have with music today. Everybody's just sampling, 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 sampling. It's just lame. Like, goddamn, are y'all niggas really musicians or not? Like, musicians make motherfucking music. They don't listen to other people's music and mix it around. That's a motherfucking, you know, you a DJ, nigga. But are you really a musician? I don't know. I don't think so. Flaws and all. I think it was a good song. Decent lyrics to that. I don't know Beyonce's writing credit on it and who else wrote it, but I thought Flaws and All was a decent song. It's of course, doesn't really have that radio mainstream appeal, but, I mean, it's all right. Um, what else does she have on here? Ring the Alarm, great song. You know, you really hear the emotion. The beat is good. Resentment, um, you know, good message. Beyonce did a good job singing it. Um, Listen for Dream Girls, good song too. Beyonce did a good job singing it. The vocals are there. Deja Vu, great song, great production. Um, Sugar Mama, great song, great production. Break them dress, not me, but y'all like it. So I'm going to write it off as overall good song. You know, people like that. Um, if, I don't recall if. Get Me Body, um, nice club banger. Worldwide Woman, uh, I can't think of how it sounds sonically. I forgot. I haven't listened to it in a long time. So this is just, you know, I honestly think B Day's a great, great, great album. Great album. To be honest, I think it's a great follow-up. It really does beat the sophomore slump. Now that I'm really looking over these songs again, it beats the sophomore slump. A lot of people can't really hang in there by album two. But Beyonce did really good. She did a great job. She did what she was supposed to do. And um, I like a lot of music on there. There's a, you know, I don't, I can't listen to, I don't think there's any Beyonce album I can listen to all the way through. But I usually like at least seven songs. So B-Day and Dangerous Seeing Love, Overall, great cohesive projects with great sounding music, great vocals, just lacking what I've been saying, which and I and what I feel is true originality. But overall, it sounds great, which is all y'all really care about. That's why y'all let Rihanna slide because Rihanna doesn't write anything. She doesn't do anything. I don't think Rihanna really has any talent, but y'all like her because the music sounds good. And so you listen to the music. Let's get on I Am Sasha Fierce. If I Were a Boy, a ballad that, again, Beyonce did not write. She did a good job singing it, but it's not her. Halo, a lot of us don't like it. 
again, a great ballad um, with nice lyrics, but sonically, not really feeling it. Disappear. I like Disappear. I did. Great song. You disappear. I thought it was good. Broken Hearted Girl. Um, listen to it every now and then. I think it's an okay song. Ava Maria. Isn't it in Spanish? I'm not listening to that. I don't know. Like, it just, it's sonically, it doesn't hit. Some of this stuff doesn't hit sonically. It just doesn't sound good. It doesn't have a beat that hooks you in. And it's not always about having a bunch of 808s and drums and kicks and snares and hi-hats. Like, I don't even want to hear that shit no more. That's why I'd be praising the melodic rappers. Let's talk about Smash Into You. Great song. Beyonce didn't write it. It's a song from a country band. The original is, I think, Crash Into You. Beyonce changed one word, took credit, and sung it. It's, an, it's a nice song. But again, she didn't write it. Satellites. I think I like Satellites. I'm going to say, I think I might be getting Satellites confused with something else. But another song on here. Because on, on this album, she kind of goes more pop, a little bit more techno, a little bit more disco. This is like her first time kind of like giving you those vibes. And then she really goes all in with Renaissance. Um, I'm not listening to Save the Hero. That's why you're beautiful. Forgettable. Like a couple of songs on here are a little bit forgettable. Forget forgettable. Let's see. Single ladies, y'all like it. It's a nice club hit. Radio. It's okay. It's like when I say okay, I give it a four out of ten. It's all. It's just all right. The the singing, the vocals on it are not the best. I don't care. Say what the fuck you want. And the production isn't that great. It's a throwaway song. I don't know why radio's on this album. Radio is a throwaway track. So, ugh, you know, really not feeling it. Diva was good. We needed Diva. We needed a woman's empowerment anthem. Diva shits on who run the world or run the world. Girls, Diva shits on it. Bow down. Shits on who run the world. Girls, like, get away from me with this, Beyonce. Diva shits on a lot of that mess. Divas would, I feel like sometimes Beyonce gives us authentic vibes and then sometimes I feel like Beyonce gives us like, you know, call center vibes. And I feel like Diva and Ring the Alarm and Kitty Cat and Grown Woman and Bow Down, those are like a handful of songs where I feel like Beyonce is like giving us authentic in my bag Beyonce. And then there are songs like Radio, Halo, <laughs> where I just feel like Ava Maria, I just feel like Beyonce, that is not authentically, musically you. I don't know. Y'all may not even feel like I'm right, but to me, it just don't sound like this is the real Beyonce. It sounds like motherfucker making pop radio hits because this is what they told her to do. Um, Diva was a great song. Hit, pure hit. Again, shit it on a lot of that other women's empowerment shit that she came out with. Sweet Dreams. I really wasn't feeling it. Like, I don't know. It just was a weird song. Like, you could be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. Either way, I don't want to wake up from you. I can't agree. <laughs> That's what I be saying. Beyonce, what the fuck do you be talking about? Like, bitch, if you were a fucking nightmare, get away from me, nigga. Like, <laughs> I want I want to wake up from a motherfucking nightmare, Beyonce. Like, stop. Um, video phone. I actually liked video phone. Y'all, y'all slept on video phone. I thought, see what I mean? That sound like Beyonce just in her southern swag. You know what I'm saying? Doing what she gotta do. I like video phone. I think sis came through. P people really, people sleep on video phone all the time. Hello was a nice love song. I liked Hello. It was a good song. Ego was better with Kanye on it. Ego was good. Um, I like how it was a classy sexual innuendo. You know, it's too big, too wide, too strong child spare me but i think kanye really added to the song i like i don't really like to listen to it without kanye um scared or lonely i really didn't i sonically i just didn't like it like i don't like some of the production on i am sasha fierce and y'all gonna let me motherfucking live y'all gonna let me live i have a right to an opinion some of the some of the like okay radio scared of lonely sweet dreams like, those are three tracks that I just don't like the production. They just don't sonically sound good. Why Don't You Love Me is okay. But 
as is, you know, I, I get it. You know, when you're in, in the relationship woes, you're like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? But I'm at the point, and I've been at the point where it's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. Cut my check. So why why don't you love me? You know, the video is cool. I think um, the song is all right, but I'm not, it's just nothing that I can relate to. I just can't relate to this. Let's get on, I think, the four album. I think that's next. Four was a great album. Okay, I think it was, I know it didn't sell a lot originally, but I think it's a better comeback. I don't know. Let me say this. I mean, how am I going to articulate this? I think Beyonce starts off strong with Dangerously in Love and B-Day. Okay, for a solo girl going to, from a, from a girl going from a group, a very popular group to going solo, she does a great job at crafting her own original sound from the group. Beyonce's solo music doesn't sound like Destiny's Child. It sounds, you know, you still hear the essence of Beyonce, but it doesn't sound like their music. So I think she kind of stumbled a little bit with I Am Sasha Fierce with her junior album, but I think her freshman and sophomore bodies of work are solid, overall solid bodies of work. I think she makes a comeback with four in 2011. I really didn't like Love on Top. I think she sonically or vocally kills it. Beyonce does an amazing job singing Love on Top. It's a song that is for her voice. She does really, really good. Um, you know, I have a cousin who says four is where Beyonce really shines vocally. And I have to agree because she does do some good singing on this. And I really like a lot of the production on four better because I like R&B Beyonce. I like when she does some pop, but I really like her when she is on some slow down music. I really do. I think her voice is able to shine more. And, um... And I just think, you know, I don't want her always with ballads, but she just is a good R&B artist, okay? For those who say I'm just a big hater, I think Beyonce does R&B music well. I happily crown her queen of R&B, and we need her because Summer Walker and SZA and any of those other chicks, the only person vocally who I really see it for, who I really think um, could, like, try to even come for Beyonce is Ari Lennox. Now we know it should be Chloe, but Beyonce got her in a jar. So, you know, watch that video for me to talk more about that. But Beyonce is our queen of R&B, rightfully so. She does R&B well. She does pop okay. So, and she does rap okay. You know, I don't, she's a, okay. She does, she does a little rap singing all right, but she really shines when she's our R&B girl. Um, Party with Andre 3000, a good song, kind of an old school kickback feel. School and Life, great song. Countdown, great song. Lovely. Love, I really like that song. She does really great with Countdown. I think lyrically it's there. You know, I like that you really have to like listen to the lyrics. I Miss You, amazing vocal performance by her. Frank Ocean, he just talked in the beginning, but... Um, I miss she was, Beyonce really, really shines. And that production, that slow, nice production that's not too overly mixed and mastered and engineered does really good for her. Okay, I miss you. Shit on whatever love song she came out with before. What's that love song? Scared of Lonely? I miss you shit song Scared of Lonely. I miss you shit song Break It Broken Hearted Girl. Like, I really like that song by her. She does a very good job. Dance for You. It's a nice little freaky, I'm a, you know, dance for my man song. It, it serves its purpose. Um, I think it's a nice song. I Care. It's okay. You know, I think it's, I, I care. How do I, it's just, I think out of a 10, it's a six. It's above average. Um, decent production. Decent. I mean, the lyrics are okay. I just, I don't know. I wish it just brought more. I, I want storytelling. And that's what's missing from music. 
And you're not going to argue with me about this. I'm not going to argue with y'all about storytelling. I told you guys. I gave examples. And two of them were, um, you know what? No. One was from YNW Melly, the song City Girls. The other was from Don Tolliver, the song What to Do on the Jack Boys EP. Um, I think those are two songs where you really hear some storytelling going on. And I really like that. Um, storytelling is missing from music. I feel like I care, you know, I want more, I want I want Shakespeare, but music, like tell me a story from beginning to end, what happened? So I think it's just okay, but I think it could use development. I don't, lyrically, it could use development. Say what the fuck you want. Rather die young, no. I, it's something that I really can't get into. One plus one is okay. Um, you know, it's a nice song if you're in that slow, emotional mood. I like the production more than... The production and the vocals are there, but do, do I care about the lyrics? I'm gonna let it slide. One plus one's a good song, okay? End of time, great song. I like the production. You know I hate Run the World, okay? Y'all know. That's the one of the first things I dragged her about in the last video. Best thing I never had. This is what I'm talking about. One of my favorite fucking songs on four. Best thing I never had is talking about some real shit. Like, this is what I talk about. I think best thing I never had, it feels like an authentic Beyonce record. It feels like Beyonce is real. I feel like she is really feeling it. The vocal performance, the lyrics, the production. Best I ever had is what I'm talking about. That shit hits. Beyonce came through. Okay? See, I'm just, I'm, y'all not going to say I hate Beyonce. I'm just saying I know music when I fuck I hear it. And I know lyrics. I'm a writer. I'm going to listen to your lyrics. Best thing I never had, Beyonce shitting on them lyrically. Because that song is really talking about some shit that people can really relate to. Because as women, sometimes you be thinking that you want something and it's just like, girl, you getting saved. Run from that shit. Good fucking song. One of the best hits. Start over. Not feeling it. Sonically, I wasn't feeling it. I was here is just okay. Again, vocally, the album serves, you know, it serves. But some of the songs, I just, they, I don't know. They're just, they're not coming hard enough for me. I was here and start over. I like I was here better than start over, but two songs that I could go without listening to ever again. I'm just saying, y'all are going to have to, you know, let me feel however the fuck I want to feel. Okay, um, let's get into the Beyonce self-titled album. She does pop very, very well on this album. So I think this is where we really see a good evolution sonically from Beyonce. This is one of my favorite Beyonce projects because I think she truly just shows a sonic evolution and we get good lyrics we get good songs i'm not going to even go into the writing and some of the sampling you know what time it is but just like with four okay but beyonce self-titled is a great album uh, let's get into songs that were great it's a lot of them okay so let's start off with the song pretty hurts great song written by sia Okay, who's a great writer and a great singer. So, um, amazing song. Beyonce does a good job vocally. You know, the video slaps. Great. Haunted, great song. Great performance. I really liked Haunted. I'm, I like that Beyonce showed us a different genre with this. Um, Drunk in Love, again, not written by Beyonce. That's a future song that they took and um, redid. You know, yes, they paid future, I'm sure. But again... The lyrics are not there. Um, they're not hers. I don't want to say they're not there. They're just not hers. But Drunk in Love was a nice song. Um, it sounds better than Crazy in Love, in my opinion. Blow. Um, I liked Blow. It's a little too freaky for me. But sonically, she does a good job. No Angel. I really enjoyed No Angel. See what I mean? Slower pace. Vocals really shining. Did her thing. Partition. Great song. Great lyrics. Um, 
you know, again, I just want to be the girl you like. That's a good lyric. That's stuff that really, encaps really encapsulates emotion. So good song. Jealous, great song. Sonically great. Rocket, okay. Good vocals. I just don't like it sonically. Mine with Drake, amazing song. Lyrics are great. I'm sure... Beyonce didn't write much. It sounds like Drake and 40 did the song and they invited Beyonce. Um, you know, but say what you want. You know, I, I know some people are going to hate that from me, but you really think Beyonce wrote her lyrics on mine? Please stop. Um, what else is popping? This song, XO, great song. Flawless, great. Superpower with Frank Ocean, great. I really like Superpower. Slept on. Great production, great vocals, and I like the lyrics. Heaven, it's all right. Um, Blue featuring Blue Ivy, I can go without. Um, 7-Eleven, I actually like 7-Eleven. Um, nice, you know, party song. I like Flawless with Nikki to an extent. I think Nikki kind of was a little bit vulgar on there. So I was like, uh, Nikki, you did all right, but I don't know. Again, Grown Woman, I really enjoyed. Great song. Um, I think Ghost and Haunted are the same song. Yes, but I like, I really like Haunted. I, mean, I think it was lovely. And see, the, you know why I like Haunted? Because the lyrics, the lyrics, when she talks about, you know, kind of being bored and she talks about people on the planet working and um this the lyrics are just there you know y'all not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and you know fuck around with this the lyrics are amazing the song was written by Jordan Boots Asher who's also the producer and that Beyonce also wrote the song um I don't believe Beyonce wrote that song because the lyrics are too um, gritty. That's how I know she didn't write it. Because if you know anything about that producer, for all my beehive people who think they know every fucking thing, if you know if you know anything about that producer, Boots, he will tell you. If you saw the if you saw the interview with him, he used to be homeless. Okay, and he got this big you know break by being able to produce with Beyonce. Are produced yeah for her but if you look at these lyrics this is how i know this is not beyonce because the lyrics are just too gritty and too real they're too close to the ground and i've been drifting off on knowledge cat calls and cat walks man these women getting solemn i could sing a song for a solomon or a salamander we took a flight at midnight and then my mind can't help but wonder how come these this is songwriting this is real lyrics this is real storytelling songwriting then she talks about these people on the planet working on it five just to stay alive how are they having to do this she's really pondering life really pondering every day day-to-day -day, monotonous hard life that we all have to live and I love when she says, I'm climbing up the walls because all this shit I hear is boring. All this shit I do is boring. All these record labels boring. Like, I totally get it. This is how you know it's not her. Because again, if you listen to this guy Boots, he was going through stuff with record labels. He was going through homelessness. He was going through so much stuff that would cause anybody, you know, that stillness that comes with, oh my God, I'm homeless. I just can't. I don't just have the, I have autonomy, but I also feel very stuck. It's like a really crazy thing. And moments like that will cause you to really ponder why. And it, it causes you to ponder meaning. Moving on to Lemonade. Pray You Catch Me. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great song. Hold Up. Great. Great production. Don't Hurt Yourself. Great production. Great lyrics. Meaning, she's singing her ass off. You can tell she's pissed, okay? So she starts off the album strong. Sorry, I like Sorry, but I really like the original demo too. I like them both. I like the lyrics on the original, but I really like the pace of the original demo. Six Inch was okay. Um, I like it sonically, production-wise, but I just can't relate to it so I don't listen to it. I'm not a, I'm not an escort. I don't I can't understand what the fuck Beyonce is talking about. I'm just being real with you. Um what else does she have on here? Again, Daddy Lessons, really didn't like it. Thought 
it was an again i like the meaning sonically i don't know i just can't get into it love drought great but beyonce didn't write it okay somebody else who really writes music wrote it and they did a great job and beyonce did a great job singing it but i'm just saying again it's not her lyrics sandcastles don't like it i hated it forward i could do without i really didn't like it um freedom I really like the lyrics. Beyonce did a great job singing it, and I like I like it lyrically. Um, All Night, it's okay. Formation, y'all know I really don't like it. And um, Sorry, original demo, I do like it. I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, I like this. This is nice and mellow, and it, it gives vibes. You know, I know people are like, oh, she moved, she moved the culture with Lemonade. She moved the culture of black people, of inducting y'all into being okay with, you know, trying to fix lame ass relationships. And I don't even care how y'all feel about me saying that. Let's go into The Lion King. You know, Bigger, great song. Find Your Way Back, great. A lot of these, all of these songs sound good. I think, to be honest, if it's, a, if it's an album that I probably could listen to all the way through from Beyonce, it probably is The Lion King, the gift album. Cause it really sounds good sonically all the way through. And most of these, again, not most, all of them, it's just other people's work. So fight me in the comments. Um, again, bigger, find your way back, don't jealous me. Ja Ade, great song by Burner Boy. Uh, Niall, great song with her and Kendrick Lamar. Mood Forever, amazing song. Water is good. Brown Skin Girl, Keys to the Kingdom, good. Already my is my favorite on the album. Great song with Major Layer, uh, with Major Laser. Um, I liked Other Side too. My Power. I mean, Spirit was okay. I really wasn't feeling it too much. But, you know, a lot of these songs are hits. Can't even deny it. And y'all better peep game how she was working with Childish Gambino and then now all of a sudden he's releasing a damn swarm show with her about her. Please peep the damn black magic of it all. But The Lion King, The Gift is one of her projects one of her one of her better projects great project slept on y'all sleep on all of her good shit and then hype up all of her average shit i just don't get it and then let me get on renaissance i'm about to really make y'all angry now um let me see homecoming was good too because before i get on renaissance because i like the transitions of the live music some of this stuff sounds a little bit better like when she does the everybody mad you know, transition, it's much, it's just good. It's better than the original. So Homecoming is a great album. But let's listen to Renaissance. Let's talk about Renaissance. I did not like majority of it. I'm about to drag her with a drag that I should have dragged her with a long time ago. I'm that girl. Now, song number one on Renaissance, I'm that girl. I'm so disappointed with Beyonce because I feel like Beyonce, how do you have a beat that hard and then you don't do shit with it? I thought she was going to get on this beat and go in. Beyonce got on that beat and played games. I'm That Girl is not good. It sucks. The beat starts off like she about to go in. And then she gets there and she tells y'all that it's not the diamonds. It's not the pearls. She's that girl. Please, Beyonce, go sit in the nearest corner. Why did you do that? Why did you give us a ballad on a hardcore rap beat? Not good, a mess. Cozy, forgettable, alien superstar. Good, I actually can vibe with it. You know, too classy for this world, forever I'm that girl. All right, you know, it's better than most. A lot of this music sounds like drunk high orgy music. It sounds like music that Lisa Renna would listen to. Lisa Renna and all of them housewife chicks. This sounds like they gag into this. This, this music sounds like rich white women who bounce around their house after taking a few Zans, drinking a few martinis. Now they're just playing dress up all over the house, making a mess for the maids in their fucking, you know, 
all jump provocateur. They're just playing around and getting drunk and popping pills and partying with their other rich white friends. That's what Renaissance sounds like. And y'all gonna let me motherfucking live. Like, I'm just saying, it really is not giving. The One of the best songs, this is how you know your music ain't hitting. If one of the best songs on your album is Break My Soul, what's going on? Like, sonically, a lot of this other shit is really not giving sonically. Cuff It, the Wetter remix is better. Like, I don't really like the original Cuff It. That's why Beyonce really started promoting the, the Wetter remix. Because the remix, which has this, this, this uh, what's his name? Twista sample on it, it's good. Um, Energy, no. Break My Soul, better than the rest. Church Girl. I'm about to drag her for Church Girl. Church Girl is about demonic possession. And y'all are just sitting up here letting the shit slide because you're such a Beyonce fan and you don't realize what the fuck is going on. Plastic Up the Sofa, good lyrics. Chloe Bailey sang it better. That's a song I wouldn't be surprised if Beyonce snatched from Chloe. Um, you never know who really writing this music. I'm just saying. Virgo's Groove, forgettable. Move, forgettable. Heated, good. I like Heated. I'm gonna let it go. I like Heated. I like it better than Alien Superstar, actually. I actually like it. Thick, I don't like. All up in your mind is a spell. America has a problem. Forgettable. Pure slash honey. Summer Renaissance. A lot of it I just can't get into. You know, seriously, I just can't. Like, Summer Renaissance is okay. I, I can't really recall most of it. A lot of this stuff I'm only hearing on TikTok. Like, ugh, it's an, uh, again, again. Okay, off Renaissance, what do I like? Alien Superstar and Heated. Everything else, I can really do it out. And I'm, and I'm gonna throw in Break My Soul, you know, because it sonically sounds better than everything else. <laughs> so that's my ranking, y'all. Let's talk in the comments. I know you guys have a lot to say. Tell me how you feel. If you're going to drag me in the comments, fine. Do whatever you have to do. This is a platform where I welcome unpopular opinions like my own. So I do not mind. Let's talk. Tell me how you feel. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And from there, I'll respond and I'll come back again. So have a great day. Bye.